today tutorial is about how to make Albion. Now I will make three partitions using graphical mode. <coughs> it's not a graphical mode; it is a text mode. So we will switch to the graphical mode. Close terminal. Go on applications. System tools. Then disk utility. Then 21 GB, the maximum space. Then click on free space in extended. Then create partition. Then click on create, but give space. <coughs> create. Then create 1 GB more. And create 1 GB more. It is automatically formatted with ext4 which is written in type now click in create button now we have to change its id because in partition type we have <coughs> id ox 0x83 but for lvm id is 0x80 so we have to change its id It's a hexadecimal number. Now click on any partition. Now I am using VMware, so it is not possible to see the ID. So we will use tab key here. Yes, it's added partition 7 of partition. We will select 0x8e from the drop down menu then apply now do the same process with 8th eight, eight partition and with ninth partitions as well it is a uh, 0x it is uh, here it is uh, ID for LVM Linux LVM 0x80 after changing ID now our new partition is partitions are ready for LVM step to follow now Step 1 install <coughs> system hyphen config hyphen LVM, which is a package for LVM, which is logical volume manager. If you have configured YAM in your system, then you can install easily. If you don't know how to configure YAM, then see my previous videos in which you can learn how to configure yum using cd or iso image so here i will not tell you how to install yum Now we have to wait for some time. After about step, after all installation, you can see LVM in system. I 
administration then logical volume manager then click ok open it now we can see it's reloading LVM please wait hmm wala adi na wala first of all we will add all partitions in PV which is physical volume we have made 7th, 8th and 9th partition just initialize it I am using VMware so it is having some problem you can see one initialize below wait it's coming Here is the initialize button. Click on initialize button. Click on yes. It's going in PV, physical volume, or partition. Now initialize space, dev SDS. Now click on as partition 8, then initialize it and click on yes. Now initialize entities, partition 9, initialize it click yes now <coughs> create a new physical volume create new button all pvs now all add all pvs in one volume group let's see how Click on new volume group, give it name. Now add two more in same physical vol uh, volume group. Physical values, partition 9, unallocated volumes, partition 7, add to existing, add it do the same with the third partition same process will follow now click on logical volume USDA logical view create logical volume now our physical volume and volume groups are created now we will create one logical group create new logical group give it name LV which you want it you can give your name give the space which you want in your LV If you want to mount it, then select EXT file. You don't want to, then click OK. Your physical volume is your logical volume is ready. Now you can use it. Now you can view in this view. Its address is Dev Rohit Chug. Chug is a logical group and Rohit is a volume group you want to mount it in any new directory then you can do it then you can do directly from create new LV let's see how in 
in video let's see how volume group click on initialize logical group then click Chug one, give space. Here I am giving one GB, one point five. Then click file system mount mount when rebooted. Give it a mount point and it will create new point new mount point. Click on yes. Then okay. Your kaka me kaka directory is made and LB is automatically. Mounted on Kaka, you can see from here. Chug Chug one. Its address is Dave Rohit Chug. Congrats, your LV. Your all volume, logical volumes are created. Stay tuned for more updates. Just subscribe my channel if you want to get updated. Have fun with my videos. Again, thanks for your time.